the, brings up this dialog and asks us if, if it wants to put on contiguous zones. We don't want to do that because these are drums. Um, they don't have tonal information, so we just want to set drums. And so all that's going to do is throw them all in here. But because we dragged them from our media browser and we made them this way, they're already in, in order. They don't, they're not alphabetized or anything, which is perfect. So that makes it far easier to edit these. So the first thing I need to do is create groups for each of these sounds. So um, in the group, it's, you can see you can go, new group is Control-G. So I'm just going to, I want five groups. So I'm going to make five really fast. And I'm going to name them by the drum. So we want that one to be kick, snare, tom, hi-hat. And we're going to put the open and closed hi-hats in there. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. And then also that bell sound. OK, so now that our, our groups are created, we can go to ungroup zones, and we can start dropping all of these um, samples. These, so these are individual samples, and we can start dropping them into zones. So I'm going to choose all my kicks and send them to the kick zone. All my snares are going to go to the snare zone. All my toms are going to go to the tom zone, etc. Hi-hats, hi-hats. Okay, so now I can just work with these individually. Um, they're still, they're all, it dropped them all on C3, which that means if I hit C3, they're actually all playing, um, or they're fighting to play. So what I need to do is, uh, when I select the zone, it actually selects them here. So we can do it visually or um, up here. It's actually easier to do this part visually. So I want to put my kicks where kicks normally go, which is on C1. So I can just select them and drag them to C1. Um, I want to put my snares on C2. I want to put my... Oh, I'm, so for the toms, well, I'll do this later, but for the toms, I'm just going to put one tom on F. I'm actually going to copy this tom and uh, put it at different pitches. So uh, for my hi-hats, I want my closed hi-hat to be on F sharp, oops, so let's grab those, put it on F sharp, and I want my open hat to be on G sharp, and then I want my bell to be where rides usually are. Okay, so now, um, now I can play this, and unfortunately those don't sound like any of the samples that I made because of this little check mark pitch. So what that's doing is if I come over here uh, where it says key, this is the key that it would play at its native pitch. So I can actually turn this pitch off um, and I can actually just select all of these and widen this out and hit pitch. So now they're actually going to play it the, what we recorded them as. Um, so now, now I can play them a little bit, but um, I'm still, when I'm hitting the kicks, it's playing the soft, medium, and loud um, all at the same time. Before we get to that, I actually want to pitch this kick down because it's kind of wimpy. So I can use this fine control, and this is actually sense. So that's not going to give us a whole lot of change, but on this course, um, I can take it down by half steps. So. So I kind of like it right there, um, and so that's great. Um, and then I also want it to respond to velocity, so the instruments can help it respond to velocity for me too, but I want it to trigger a different sample depending on the velocity, so I'm going to turn this on, and um, I want it to trigger that first sample, the low one, all the way up to velocities of about like 35, so hardly ever. And then this one's going to go from 36 to about... Uh, let's, let's say 95 and then the strong one is going to go from 96 all the way to 127 so now when I hit it so I'm going to get I can uh, depending on how hard I press it it's going to give me a different velocity um, so that pretty much does it for the snares um, I'm going to do the same thing for I mean for the kick I'm going to do the same thing for the snares um, I want to see if I want to pitch it up or down and I just do that with this course slider Oops. so let's see
So that sounds good to me. Um, and then the same thing, I want I want these to be velocity dependent. So we'll set this to 31. 32 to, let's say, 110. And then 111 to 127. So these are going to vary depending on the sample because sometimes you'd want the strongest sample to be most of the time. So right now, uh, oops. I'm just going to tweak this until it's something that I like. So now the it just sounds more playable. Because it actually changes with your pressure. Okay, so now I've gone through and I've edited all, all my velocity ranges uh, for all my zones. And I just finished the hi-hats. Um, and I finished the bell. And on the bell, I actually just deleted all the samples because uh, there wasn't really a need to have multiple samples. They sounded pretty similar. So now it's just gonna, it's still gonna change uh, uh, volume based on velocity, but it's not gonna ch change uh, samples, which is fine. But I left the best for last, which is toms. Um, and so right now I have this tom on the F, and it's playing all of them. But I want to have three toms. And so uh, what I can do is I can actually just option drag the group of these and actually well, we'll set up our velocity first because then when I option drag it will already have that in there. So I'm going to turn velocity range on. Um, so for this one I'm just going to go with the lowest sample for the very very lowest of the notes and the sample for the medium range. Oops. 11 to 55 and 56 and up. So. Okay, so now if I option drag this down, um, I can create new tone tracks and they're all the exact same. So now I can actually just take this second one and I'm going to drop it to the G. I'm going to put this one on the A. Um, and so now I can go through each of these and I can actually pitch them. Um, so let's start with our floor. I'm going to keep playing with this pitch. Put that one at 20, 21. Let's set this one in relation to it somewhere. And let's set this one just a little bit lower than stock. Okay, so now I have my toms. And I have three of them just from that one sample. Um, so, um, I have, I've got it pretty well figured out. So now I can go into groups, uh, which is right here, and in groups I can uh, affect the entire groups as a whole. So what I'm hearing is that I need a little bit more volume on the kicks, so I can bring that up, uh, and same with snare, just a little bit more, bring the toms down just a touch, okay my hi-hats. Are good. I just want to pan them over to the right, and I'll pan that bell to the left. Um, and then, so within the toms too, let's go back to the zones, and I can actually um, change the pan of each of these sections. So my floor tom, I'm gonna pan to the left. We'll keep that middle tom in the middle, and I'll pan the high tom to the right. So now they'll go. Uh, and so that should be good. I should have a pretty playable instrument now. So I'm going to save the instrument. And we'll call it Kitchen Kit. Now I can just bring that back up whenever. And I'm left with my new kit right in here. Okay, so that's how you create it. That's just the kind of long and short version of it, but it will